Hey guys, what's going on? It's that home theater dude. Got a brand new episode for you today. As you can see in front of me, I got the SI Solo Pro screen roll, uh, roll down, and then I also have the Optima UHD 65. I got that thing fired up. Um, like I said in a different video, and this has been um, something that's been going on with the camera itself, is that it keeps picking up those horizontal lines on the screen. That has nothing to do, you can't see that at all. That has nothing to do with the projector, it's nothing to do with the screen. I think it's just something in the camera. So um, I'm gonna preface that and I'm gonna go ahead and jump into this. This is the uh, review of the Optima UHD 65. I'm super excited to actually have this in my house. I mean, I'm not gonna go out and buy a second projector. So um, what happened is, is projector people reached out to me and then they wanted to see if I wanted to review a projector for them. And uh, it's really cool because uh, this one, I was gonna get a different projector. So it worked out great to where I got this projector, which is a 4K projector. I have a 4K projector. So they're, um, I think they're direct competitors because they're, um, their specs are very similar. Their uh, price is very similar. And um, a lot of the reviews are very similar. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump into this quick review of it. I've had this thing for um, a little bit and I just wanted to go ahead and give my opinions on what I thought while I own this thing. So first and foremost, I'm just gonna do the quick and dirty. Uh, just a couple of specs about it. This is a 4K projector. It is uh, 2200 lumens. Um, it has a, a H or a contrast ratio of 1.2 million to one. So, I mean, you get some really great colors out of this thing. I think I, I talked about that before in a previous video. Um, you get the uh, DLP type of uh, technology in it from TI. And then this one is apparently capable of putting out one, one billion colors. So, I mean, that's just absurd. So this is um, kind of like one of those, um, it's not native 4K, but it's still a 4K projector. So you get uh, the 4096 by 2160 and, um, no, wait, hold on. <laughs> the native resolution on it's uh, 3840 by 2160. So um, the max resolution is obviously 4K. So first and foremost, it's a great projector. Great projector, has great uh, video, actually has inboard speakers. Um, the functions on it, it's very simple. The functionality is uh, very, very um, good on it as well. Comes with this very simple remote and uh, it's, it's easy to, um, you know, it's easy to navigate around with the actual uh, remote itself. So there's a lot of different things in here. I actually switched up a couple of settings from the last video I did. Um, so I'm gonna show this, I'm gonna actually debut this video, I mean, a little bit after I put out the other one. But uh, you have a, I went ahead and messed around with a couple of settings. In here we have, let's see, I put it on cinema mode, dynamic range, different things like that. I mean, like, you can do a lot of stuff with this thing. So if, if you're one of those people that really likes to, uh, to mess around with your setup, if you have a calibration disc, this is gonna help out a lot more. Uh, because if you just go in here all willy-nilly with this stuff, you may not get the best type of settings. So you have all these different things in here. So let's just go ahead and go through it. So you have different modes. Let's go ahead and pop, in, pop into that. Cinema mode, HDR mode, which is really good. I would probably recommend doing HDR or Vivid. Oh, well, no. Most people do HDR or Vivid, but I like to have it in uh, cinema mode. It uh, gives that nice little uh, appearance to it that a lot of people seem to like. So let's just go ahead and pop this in HDR. And you can go into your dynamic range. You can either have that on HDR auto, and then you have different, a lot of people don't know this, you have different type of HDRs. So you can do standard film, detail, and bright. And most people like uh, the bright. So I'm just gonna go ahead and leave this on standard. And then obviously you have the normal stuff, brightness, contrast, sharpness, color, tint. I don't need to go through all that. Gamma. Went in and changed the gamma a little bit um, to 2.4. It's just a little bit of a different color setting. And then ultra detail. If you want to pop this up to, you know, more and more and more you can, but it, it reduces uh, or it increases the latency in it. And it may, uh, it may on moving parts like this part, you're not gonna get the best type of detail out of it. So if you're gonna be doing that, I'd probably recommend having it on something that you're doing like stills with, that would you know work out a lot better. So you go through all that stuff, right? And then you have your dynamic black, and then you have your motion engine. Well, you have your different engines. So this is the processing power in the actual um, projector itself. 
So you have contrast, you have color, motion, and different things like that. So, I mean, there's all kinds of functionality that you can do with this thing. I mean, it, there's, there's a lot of stuff. So I kind of just left it to where whenever I was playing with it originally, I left it alone for, you know, like a couple weeks. And then I started playing around the settings. And then whenever I filmed a couple of videos, I wanted, I wanted it to be just baseline. So I went back and then redid all, uh, pretty much put it back to factory settings. So what, just, just saying like, th this is a really good projector. I wouldn't hesitate buying this one. I went ahead and bought a different one. I was dead set on getting the Optima U, hold on, UHD 40 or the UHD 50. I was dead set on getting one of those. And then I decided that um, I was talking to a couple of people in the business, talking to some friends, and they were saying, um, try out the Epson, the Epson and see if you like it. So cool thing was, is I went to Star Power, or not Star Power, but Nebraska Furniture Mart, and they actually had the Epson there and they had the Optima there in the same room, which was really cool because then I can actually check out, you know, in, in, in between them that whichever ones were uh, gonna be a good fit for my my house. So, like I said, great projector, highly recommend even to, to buy this one. The colors on it are really, really good. The dynamic, contra or the HDR on it, really, really good. Uh, the only thing that I noticed is that whenever you have you're trying to go in and watch something in a you know a brightly lit room. Like right now, this is an ALR screen, and um, so this is an ALR screen. And if you were trying to watch something on a brightly lit room, you may or may not be getting the best type of um, the best type of picture out of it because it's it's not a problem with the screen itself. I think it's because of the shine of uh, the the lumens on the actual projector itself. So that's only one thing that I would say that's kind of negative um, going for it. But uh, I mean, I really like it. I think it's a great projector. The only other thing that I would say it has uh, really good that uh, going for it, well, another thing I would say that has really good going for it is uh, it's motion flow. So <laughs> this is an old video. I, I, think, uh, I think you can see my bare concrete. But this is a very popular video. It's, I saw my, my very first SVS subwoofer, I had it. Um, on blast on a rap song and then I was shaking the, the metal grill but yeah I mean uh, the motion flow on it if you're coming from a standard um, TV setup like this and you're used to all the processing power in it then the Optima is right up your alley because it has all that stuff that you're used to in a in an actual TV so that whenever you make that transition to projector it's a very simple um, transition because I mean, one, you know, you're getting everything you like. You're getting that nice, uh, that nice picture quality. You're getting the motion flow, and you're getting all the processing power. And um, the only other thing that I would say is, if you're doing that, pair it with a really good screen. So do your research, find um, find um, a quality screen out there, and uh, you know, go with that. Because you, like like I've always said, you can have a great projector, you can have a terrible screen. And then it's just not going to look right. Or you can have, you know, a not so good projector and a really good screen, and then it'll make it look like a million bucks. So I mean, like the entire thing comes with the balance. So if you have a really good projector, really good screen, they're just going to mate very well. And uh, this this screen right here, I'm showing this video on a Solo Pro Si uh, Slate 1.2, and um, it whenever you do a screen like this, it kind of mimics that TV type of appearance where it has like that uh, glossier finish to it. So, like I said, if you're just coming from a, a basic, well not, if you're just coming from a, a standard TV setup, um, you might wanna go with something that uh, is gonna mimic that. Otherwise, it's gonna be a little different for your eyes for you know maybe the first couple of weeks. But like I said, um, highly enjoyed the, the, the projector. I think it's a great projector itself. The features on it is, uh, is, is, is there, there's tons of features. And then the actual functionality of it is just amazing. So a couple things that I would say, I've talked about the pros on it. It has a great motion flow, really enjoyed that. Picture quality is amazing. A um, couple of cons I would probably say is the, the lumens, the brightness on it, the, well, not the lumens, but the overall brightness on this thing is a little bit um, lacking. So whenever you're watching uh, you know, something in a well-lit room or you know, you have, it's sun sunlight or whatever, um, you may be getting a, a, a slight little bit of, um, of loss in, in your actual picture itself. But like I said, if, if, if you have a really good projector screen 
and uh, you have like ambient light rejection, that's not the biggest of problems. But uh, this little guy is capable of uh, a great picture quality even with its 2200 advertised lumens. Another thing that I would say that's a little bit negative is that this thing pumps out heat. It's not necessarily um, loud, but it, it just gives off a lot of heat. So um, a, a, as you're well aware of, um, basically this thing is just a, a light cannon. So whenever you have all that light, you have to get all that heat out just so you can have uh, a really great, um, a really great lamp life. This thing has amazing lamp life. I think it's up to 15,000 hours and that's a ton. So if, if, I don't know if you know much about projectors, but I mean, um, some of them have like three, five, and that's good. This thing has 15,000. 15, so I think that's just crazy. But like I said, it gives off a decent amount of heat. So if you're gonna be having this one, I would recommend having it mounted because then, uh, oh, oh yikes, you, Youth Man popped up. Watch out, shout out to Youth Man. <laughs> so, like I was saying, these things give off a little, a decent amount of heat. So if you're if you're jumping into a projector for the first time and you may not necessarily know about it, they do give off um, a fair amount of heat. But um, it's it, it, it's it's all kind of a trade off. So you you know what you're getting. You're getting a more immersive picture. You're getting um, a, a better um, experience. But you know you may have to deal with the lighting issues. You may have to deal with a little bit of the heat. So I mean, it all really depends on what's important to you. So like I said, this is a no con uh, a no compromise projector. I would I would I would recommend buying this myself if if I had never had a projector. I mean I was almost gonna buy uh, Optima projector. I think it was the UHD sixty that I was gonna buy, and then I talked to one of my friends in the business, and a lot of people just said that I'd be a little happier with the Epson, and I think that the reason that it did the electronic um, lens memory was the main seller uh, for me, but. Like I said, this is a great projector. You get really great picture quality out of it. I would highly recommend getting this one. It's just, there's a few negative things about it. A um, little higher on the heat and um, a little a little bit of a degradation whenever you're watching um, something with ambient light. I mean, if, if you if you wanna go ahead and uh, pick one of these up, um, this video was um, helped out by projector people. I couldn't have done the video without them. Obviously, I'm not gonna go out and buy a second projector to do a review on. Um, they actually sent this one out to me, and um, <clears throat> so you guys want to go ahead and ch check them out. I'll put their info in the description. Like I said, all the stuff in my house, I have links for it in the description. I'm an Amazon affiliate, SBS affiliate, so you guys want any of this stuff, let me know. And a uh, big shout out to SI Screens for, uh, to, for actually letting me keep this, well not keep it, but uh, use their um, solo pro screen for uh, for extended period of time. And uh, that's it. I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. If you guys thought it was helpful, let me know. And uh, if you guys have any questions about any of this stuff, just let me know too. Uh, as you know, I get back to all my, my subscribers really, really fast in the, in the messages, okay? So I'll catch y'all next time.